Hello everyone, Ali here. If you're in the parallel beta and you're trying out some of the rookie decks and want some help because maybe you're new to TCGs or new to parallel, these videos are going to be me going over each of the rookie decks, giving you a general strategy and helping you out with a visual guide. Okay, let's start out with Earthen. So in the Earthen deck, the goal here is generally to take board control with strong minions and to dictate your opponent's attacks because a lot of units that you run have defender, which can block your opponent's attacks. The Paragon, that is used in this deck is Nehemiah, Defender of Earth, and her passive ability reads, after the first friendly unit with Defender is destroyed each turn, target friendly unit gains Defender. So after the first time a unit dies, you can pass that Defender ability on to another unit uh, that you control. And then when she hits the board, she is a four cost 07 uh, with the effect deal damage equal or units deal damage equal to their current health instead of their attack. So she's normally a 0-7, uh, but when she hits the board, she's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. So the dream start with this deck would be to have the Steward of the Garden, which is the one cost 04 that gives you an extra energy each turn or as long as it's alive. And then playing the Malachite Shield, which is an upgrade onto the Steward, increasing its health and attack and also giving it Defender. And that's the key point because Nehemiah can hit the board the next turn on turn three, even though she costs four because of the energy ramp. And then you would have an 8-8 eight, eight, and a 7-7 seven, seven on turn three, which is an incredibly strong start to the game. Steward of the Garden is probably Earthen's most powerful one drop, so you absolutely are going to want to keep that in your mulligan every single time because it ramps you an energy point for as long as it's alive, so it can help you get out stronger units before your opponent. And in addition to the Malachite Shield that I mentioned, you can also play the upgrade Aurora Fungi on it to make it more of an active unit to either get some damage into your opponent's face or to trade some of the opponent's minions. In the mid game, the Battle Hardened Warrior is the 4-6 unit that is really strong to get developed because it's generally higher statted than most of the other units in these rookie decks. And the Black Market Fixer is an incredibly powerful card. You're probably going to see it a lot in these rookie decks, but it can often two for one your opponent because as it comes into play, it kills a unit with two cost or less. T Interceptor is another great muster card as it does three damage to any unit. Make sure to look out for your opponent using it in retaliation on your own T Interceptor though, as it does only have a 3-3 in stat, so it can die to itself. This deck also features a strong utility card called Cleanse the Earth. It's an effect that bounces a unit back to the opponent's hand. So it's really strong in the mirror as well as the Augen Core matchup because those decks play upgrades on units and when you bounce a unit that has an upgrade on it, it is immediately wasted. And it's also probably worth noting that bouncing tokens works like how it does in magic. So a zero cost token that was generated from some kind of effect, if you bounce that back to the hand, it is then immediately destroyed. You then can close out the game with the Chem Craze Bruiser or Shamak Stone Eyes. One thing to know about the Shamak though is that the cost gets reduced when you are healed and if you have spent the whole game at 30 life, haven't taken any damage, then that cost will never come down because in parallel the mana is capped at at 10. So sometimes it's not the worst idea to take a little bit of damage in the early game so that you could maybe get that out later. And to finish off this video, I want to remind you that you don't passively gain mana in parallel. You have to bank cards for energy. So you're going to want to be thinking about your hand and your future turns. What cards do you need or not want and then can be therefore used as energy. One card that I find myself wanting to bank every time uh, with this deck is Recon. There's not a ton of use for it in the, re in the rookie deck. So you can bank that one without being too concerned and use it as energy fodder. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video for more parallel content. I have been a TCG streamer for eight years at this point, and I'm so excited about parallel. So there will be lots of content coming on this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.